Now turn with me to the book of Exodus. Let me just turn that to that to uh, to lay that principle more clearly in some hearts and lives. Exodus chapter 32. We know this. We have roughly uh, mentioned this in chapter 32 we know the background how Moses was uh, on the mound with the Lord in communion with the Lord and Israel began to, uh, to they came to Aaron and desire to have uh, a God who will go before them because Moses is not visible for them. Now we see what, uh, you know, we see a terrible deterioration and departure in the midst of God's redeemed people. And verse 7. Some of us really know, but for the sake of many young brothers and sisters, I thought I must turn to the scriptures to lay this word very clearly as a foundation in their lives. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go get thee down for thy people which thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt have corrupted 
themselves. You know, the enemy's strategy is always to corrupt and defile that which is the Lord's. His strategies are many. And we ought to know that he is that old serpent as we read repeatedly in many places in the book of Revelation. I want to encourage you if you can get get hold of that messages we shared in the camp meetings in Delhi last week. That was about deception in these end times. I would encourage you. The signs of the The signs of the end times is great delusion and deception among God's people. Do not forget that saints of God. If possible, the very elect, those who are in the front lines will be even deceived in other words. Some of the titles given to this enemy is the old serpent, the deceiver. And his methods are very subtle. You will never suspect it is that old serpent, but he would always decide to correct and defile that which is the Lord's. And so here we find a redeemed people by the blood who saw God's mighty hand, praised and worshipped the Lord. And it says here, they, they were being corrupted. And you see the reaction of the Lord. God reacted to this condition among God's people. And the Lord says to Moses, thy people. When Moses asked the Lord, what should I tell to Pharaoh? The Lord said, set my people go. My people. In other places, he says, let my son go. Now the same God says to Moses, thy people. God always reacts to man's departure from God's purpose and God's will. And we see that very clearly here. We see how God reacted. The enemy had corrupted them. And it says in verse 8, 
they have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. How quickly these people who responded to God and to God's mind and God's will so quickly they have turned away from the way I have commanded, I have placed them, I have led them into. They have corrupted themselves. They opened up themselves to the corruption. And is it not what the Apostle Paul is fearful about even the Corinthians? Second Corinthians and chapter 11. Verse 2 and 3. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I fear less by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. This old serpent goes around to corrupt God's people. May we be ever alert in our lives concerning this. He is so subtle, he is a deceiver, he would he would deceive even the very elect in these end times. And may we not get into the, the snare of this fowler at any point of time. Be alert and watchful. That's very, very important, saints of God. Unless and until we are sensitive and careful in our lives and watch over our lives, there is no guarantee that we would be spared. Coming back again to Exodus chapter 32. And when Moses came down, he saw the condition of God's people. And verse 26, to save time. Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me, and all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. So we see here that when majority of God's redeemed people fail, God had to make a declaration as to who would be concerned about God's need and God's purpose. That's what we see here. And we see a remnant of people responded to God's voice that day. 
അന്ന് ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ശബ്ദത്തോടെ പ്രതികരിച്ച ഒരു ശേഷിപ്പിനെ ആണ് നാം കാണുന്നത് സെയിൻസ് ഓഫ് ഗാഡ് പ്രിയ ദൈവജനമേ it is so necessary for us to see here god's need even in this perilous times in which we are nam jeevichu kondirikkunna ee bhayangaramaya samayangalil devathinte aavashyathe nam kaanandathu athyavashyamaan it's god's need adu devathinte aavashyamaan and we see our people responding to god's need here ivada nam kaanunna devathinte aavashyathode pradhigaricha oru janathayan only the sons of levi leshane putranmar maatram all the eleven tribes did not respond to god's need padanamma gotrangal devathinte aavashyathode pradhigarichilla levide putranmar maatrame pradhigarichu and from that time onwards aa divasam mudha we see that god depended upon this company called the levites they were upon ee levir enna oru kootathile aashrayichu enna namu kaanuvan kadi god depended upon this company of people they were aa levir enna kootathil aashrayichu he needed them they were their avare aavashyamayirun God's promise to Israel was I will take you to the land I have promised to your fathers. ദൈവം തന്റെ ജനത്തോട് വാക്തത്വം ചെയ്യുന്നത് നിങ്ങളുടെ പിതാക്കന്മാരോട് വാക്തത്വം ചെയ്ത ആ ദേശത്തേക്ക് നിങ്ങളെ ഞാൻ കൊണ്ട് വന്നാക്കുമെന്നതായിരുന്നു. I will lead you I will take you to that land which I have promised. നിങ്ങളെ ഞാൻ വഴി നടത്തി ആ വാക്തത്വ ദേശത്തേക്ക് കൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ ആക്കും എന്നതായിരുന്നു ദൈവത്തിന്റെ വാക്തത്വം. Now if that promise had to be fulfilled ആ ഉദ്ദേശം നിറവേറണമെങ്കിൽ ഗോഡ് നീഡ്സ് എ പീപ്പിൾ ദൈവത്തിന് ഒരു ജനം ആവശ്യമാണ് ആൻഡ് വി സീ ദാറ്റ് ഗോഡ് ഡിപ്പെൻഡ് അപ്പോൺ ദ ലീവൈറ്റ്സ് ഫ്രം ദാറ്റ് ടൈം ഓൺവേർഡ്സ് ടു ലീഡ് ഗോഡ്സ് പീപ്പിൾ ഇൻ ടു ദ ലാൻഡ് ഓഫ് പ്രോമിസ് ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ആ വാക്കുദേശത്തിലേക്ക് അവരെ നയിക്കുന്നതിനായി ഇവിടെ കൊണ്ടുവരുന്നത് ആക്കുന്നതിനായി ദൈവം ലേവ്യർ എന്ന ആ കൂട്ടത്തിൽ ആശ്രയിക്കുന്നതായിട്ടാണ് നാം കാണുന്നത് ഗോഡ് നീഡഡ് ദാറ്റ് കമ്പനി ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾ ദൈവത്തിന് ലേവ്യർ എന്ന ആ കൂട്ടത്തെ ആവശ്യമായിരുന്നു സോ ലെറ്റ് ദിസ് പ്രിൻസിപ്പിൾ ബി ലേഡ് ആസ് എ ഫൗണ്ടേഷൻ ഇൻ അവർ ഹാർട്ട്സ് നമ്മുടെ ഹൃദയത്തിലും ഈ തത്വം അത് പതിയപ്പെടുന്നു